Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to create another little project with you guys. So, um, I don't know, I am thinking, I'm thinking to make a little folder with a uh, pocket at the back where I can insert another notebook right here. And inside the notebook, of course, I'm going to make a little pocket so that's my basic design for this project in this project i am going to use cardstock or scrapbook paper so <laughs> if you guys know me i love team horse i love team horse uh, papers i love their goodies i just love this brand so in this project i'm going to use some of the dapper dapper I think the scrapbook uh, paper pad is called Dapper. Uh, some of the paper from that paper pad. And this is one of those. So it is 12 by 12. So I just cut it, uh, before I cut it, it looks like this. So this is the, um, okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, so this is what it looks like before I cut it out. So like I said, it's 12 by 12 and that's why for this little fold out is um 12 inches okay let me just zoom out a little bit oh okay, it's uh 12 by 3.5 but of course i fold it in half which means um the booklet is six inches by 3.5 inches and after i fold it i use my bone folder to kind of like enhance the the edge so it looks nicer so that is that and then for the extra pocket i use another design from the dapper paper pad so this is another scrapbook paper and the size is the same it's uh, six inches by 3.5 inches which i am going to tuck it at the back right here so you have something you know different something interesting to see and then i also have a piece of fabric i'm not sure if i will use the fabric we will see at the end but what i'm going to do is i wanted to make a little fabric pouch or a fabric fabric yeah, pocket at the front here i think the color just matches i really really love this i'm not sure, i think it's not lotus but it's just this flower um, fabric I so that's why I want to tuck it at the front so maybe I will put it maybe I won't and for the journal or the pocket which I am going to slice it at the back here and this one is let's see <laughs> I have all my measurements in my book but yeah so for this journal I think is oh, where is it okay so for this journal little little bullet i think it's 2.5 inches by 5 inches and then the pocket here is you can make it um, as tall as you want but the width is 2.5 inches so yeah that is that and this one i just cut it out from the uh, Sam paper pad, but this is this gorgeous ruler or measurement tape. I just I like it really really much <laughs> so um, That's why I use this. I think it just the color and the pattern. It just matches the the other scribble paper so yeah, I'm going to make this project with those two or three um, pattern paper Let's get started. Um, what I'm going to do first, I of course I need some papers. Um, I will show you later, but uh, for now I just want to make the basic for um, for this project first. What I'm going to do is maybe I won't cover it because I really really like the pattern here. So yeah. So the first thing is I want to have a pocket at the back and I want to have a little circle right here in the center. And the tool that I'm going to use is this little round puncher. 
is from Fisky, I think. I think it's from Fisky. So what I need to do. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is okay. I'm going to punch a half circle in the center here. So I'm just gonna eye eyeball it. Um, okay. So you have a little little half circle kind of like opening right there. Of course, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to ink it up. I make it look more vintagey. And the ink that I'm using is from uh, Ranger, uh, Tim Hall's Distress Ink. And the color is Vintage Photo. I really, really like this one. I always go back for it. Maybe I need to buy more in case it runs out or discontinued. That's what I am afraid the most because um, sometimes it just discontinues some of the product that I really, really like. And I just feel like as long as I'm making journal journal, I will need it the most. But sometimes it just discontinue it. That makes me very, very upset. So yeah, I just suggest if you like some of the products, um, you really, really love it. Make sure you buy tons because you never know when it's going to be discontinued anyway so now i have the basic um look of the pocket and then i'm going to rub it from the corner from the owl what does it call like owl core owl, owl from the outside to the inside to the center you don't want to overdo it just leave it leave some um some just make it make the color looks uh, different here as you can see is more intense more vibrant the color and I just leave here a little bit more light um, because you don't want the color looks the same the whole the whole pocket you don't want it to look the same so yep this is that and yeah I like it so I am I will leave the creation to the end of the video and the next thing I'm going to do is come like measure it mm, it looks good it looks good and then the next thing is I am going to um, sew some pages right here and then I will come back with the result okay I'm back so um, I put a bunch of papers in this little little folder and that's how it looks like. I put some tickets, vintage ticket at the front and some different, you know, type of papers. I have uh, grid papers, I have graph papers, and I have uh, vintage book pages. So yeah, that is how it is, book pages. More, and this one is calendar, I believe. It's Saturday, February the 1st and more grip paper some blank pages so yeah she can write a lot of things in this little little folder so the next thing that i want to do is i want to attach the pocket at the back here which it will just create a little a little pocket where i can put my booklet here just like like this like so so yeah I'm just gonna trim trim all the thread trim off all the threads here because I don't want it to be hanging around for my journals I usually don't really care but in this one I just um, I'm just gonna make it look nicer and more clear and the glue that I am using is this fabric tag. Okay, is it focusing? Okay, so this is this fabric tag. I really, really love this glue. I think it's my, my only glue, glue. If I know that I'm going to glue something, I will definitely grab this one. I really, really like it. So I'm gonna glue the edge. I have a new 
new fabric tag so this one is almost run out so make sure you pull it all on the edge and on top of the thread as well because you don't want it to be loose you want it to be tighter and make sure you glue all the thread all the little corners and gap and yeah make sure it's tight that's what I'm doing right now okay. I think my husband is back <laughs> So I'm going to attach it at the back of the folder. Okay. And just press it a little bit. Press it a little bit. Make sure you glue it on the back of the paper side not the other side because the other side is the cover then you're gonna open it up and press it from the inside a little bit make sure you use your finger to run the edges tightly especially on the thread I'm gonna make sure it's very tight make sure you feel the thread you feel the gap and push around it. That's very important. Okay. So from the cover on the top, I'm gonna run, use my finger to run again on the thread binding. Make sure it's secure. So, this is that. So you have a little folder at the back, you have a little pocket. You could have stopped right here or you can just decorate the cover a little bit. Um, you don't have to make another another notebook, but I just would like to do it um, in case you want a shop pocket or something. Um, but usually you can stop here and then you can uh, put, you know, like vintage pages at the back here in this pocket is totally fine so like like this you can put it at the back but what I'm going to do is I am going to make another little notebook but this one I'm just gonna um, keep it simple because this one is just another extra pocket which is this one so I've already made it I cut a little half circle half um, circle on the top here and I sew it around so it looks more vintage -y. and I'm going to attach it right here maybe I will decorate it a little bit in the corner first um, let's see what I have in here I have some vintage tickets maybe I can use those like this one maybe I can use this one and then attach it right here but I think it's too big I think it's to be okay. I have a smaller one. Oh, this one was nice. Okay, maybe I will just put it right here. Uh, maybe I should ink. Um, uh, no, I don't have to ink everything. I think it looks nice in this way, natural. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on top of the pocket very carefully and at the same time when I'm waiting it dry I'm going to ink the edges of the pocket here <clears throat> yep I just said you don't have to ink everything and then I pick up my ink pad <laughs> I just think I don't really, I'm not a fan of the white border, uh, white card cardstock, but of course it's, it's right, um, but of course it's white, so I have to cover it up by using some distress ink. Okay, so that is that. 
Okay, I think this is good. And then I'm going to glue it in. Okay, like what I um, what I did usually. Put the glue on the edge. Make sure you go over the stitching. Because I think it's very important that you put the glue on the stitching, on the thread as well. Because that is where the the um, uneven surface. So if you glue it down also, I think it will just make the pocket more sturdy and make um, the glue more strong. And they just attached with each other stronger. <laughs> Not sure if I explain it right, right, but that's what I usually do. Okay, so you pick it up very carefully and you put it, put it down very carefully as well. Okay, and then you're gonna use your finger, use your forefinger, and then press it along the stitching. Make sure you give it a good pressed make sure the uneven surface is well attached with each other <laughs> and then you're gonna put it around uh, put it upside down and then you're gonna run from the back again back again okay so that's what it looks like. It's kind of simple, but I kind of like it. Okay, so the next thing that I am going to do is like usual. Just ink, ink. Make it look older. Give it more vintage look. over here hmm let's see what else I have of my ephemera or maybe it's like a I put a schedule kind of thing I think I haven't used this one yet let's pull all the ephemera out and take a look what I can put on the cover so what I'm thinking is because it looks like a a notebook or a calendar, so it's better that I put something cute for that. Um, maybe a little timetable like this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, it looks actually it looks cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put this. So what I'm going to do is actually I have some leftover papers in here. So I am thinking maybe I can put it on the top first and then put it here. I think I will do this one. Because it's kind of like they are grid paper but they look kind of different. Or maybe I can put a you know, a plain paper, just a little bit wider than the ephemera. I think the grip paper looks good. So yeah, I will do the grip paper. And then, so first I'm gonna cut it into sizes, which is, maybe I should do one more the window thing, the little open window. Hmm. Nah, I think I'll just do this one. I think I will just cut it along the edge right here. Along the lines. Okay, the side as well.
Recently, Vancouver is a lot of raining, which is very good because the the wild um, wildfire has been really really bad this summer, and there's a lot of trees are burning, all the mountains and hills they're all burning down, and I'm just so worried about those animals because the forest is their shelter now they don't have a place to survive to rest so i'm not sure where have they been hiding and they also need to hide from humans because i don't know i'm just so worried about them but now finally the raining season is back and yeah i hope the fire has a little bit of control and i hope they have a better place to rest I really, I, I really hope they have a good place. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to glue down the paper first, and then I am gonna stitching um, around the ephemera, and then I'm gonna glue glue it down together. So I'm gonna glue this down first. Do you know how to control the camera? Because some some of the camera, I mean this camera that I'm using, they always stop at 19 minutes. I don't know how to stop that because I don't want it to stop at 19 minutes and then I just forgot about it and when I come back to it, I already missed a lot of the footage. So yeah, I don't know how to adjust that. I'm a totally, totally not nerd like i'm just like i have no idea about technology i have no idea about all the advanced stuff because um so old school i do write letters i i like writing and i i just don't quite like technology and am i the only one who think the google home stuff is creepy i don't know I just don't know. I think our, our life has been really affected by those technology and sometimes those technologies is just creepy to me because it helps us to think, help us to do a lot of stuff. So at the same time and that means we are lazy to do those stuff. I don't know. I think I'm the only one anyway. Um, Okay, so you need to find the, co uh, the center and glue it down. Okay, maybe I'm the only one, I don't know. I just think that's a little bit creepy for me. Anyway, um, at least I'm still making stuff by hands, I still handmade stuff, that's really good. I feel really, really satisfied and happy when I'm doing it. Just slowly, slowly you see the result and you know if this is handmade, that makes me very, very happy and I really, really appreciate I have this time and I have this channel that I can share things with you all. I don't know, I really, really appreciate that. Although my English is not good, sometimes I just wanna talk more but because of the language barrier I couldn't share as much as I want because I don't know how how's the quality how it turns out how the video turns out I have tons of like book collection that I want to share I have all the vintage ephemera collection that I want to share fabrics and yeah journals and things like that I really really want to share with you all but well, I just can't <laughs> Anyway, so next thing I'm going to, maybe I'm going to stitching around here and then glue it down like this. Okay, I'm going to do that. So I will be right back after I stitched all around the little booklet.
So I just received a request uh, uh, from a friend that she wants to see how I do stitching and I have to say I'm just a beginner and the so sewing machine that I'm using is this one. Ah, it's, the, it's from Singer and it's heavy duty. I got it from from Amazon I believe and it's a total beginner beginner sewing machine and I really really like it. It has a lot of different stitching patterns for you and different width, different tension and stuff. I don't usually change the tension. I don't usually change the setting too much because I just stick with one setting forever. Um, so I don't know how of how those other pattern looks like but um, I can tell you I love this machine maybe if I can find it I will link it down below I think it's below 200 bucks so I know it's quite a bit of investment but you if you are really into sewing or into junk journal I highly recommend this sewing machine because it's heavy duty and if if you want to sew letters in the future, if you want to sew papers, it worked perfectly. But anyway, let's get back to my little booklet. So this is the booklet, what the booklet looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna ink this little ephemera with the distressed ink again. My battery is dying. And I'm gonna rub it a little bit. Because of, I think it's the this is the new release, new ephemera. The paper, the texture is a little bit different from the old old version or old pack. This one is kind of like it's a hundred percent thicker, but the paper is a lot more glossier. So it's really really hard to distract it. You have distress it. You have to wait quite a long time until it is totally dry but anyway I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna pick up my fabric tag again and I'm going to glue it at the back actually my daytime job starts at 3 p.m. so sometimes from you know in the morning I can do a little bit of this a little bit of that but I don't usually have tons of time that's why I don't have a lot of time to make videos, to make journals at the same time. Ah, maybe someday, someday I can quit my job and focus on my journal. That's my dream. Okay, anyway, and then you're gonna press it, put it in the center, of course, and then press it down. And like I said, it's really, really hard to get uh, the ink um, stay on the ephemera so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and rub it from the back so in this case you don't rub off the ink <laughs> you don't destroy your little card and but at the same time you can still give it a good press and make it sturdy okay so this is it so this is the little booklet. This is the cover. I mean, from the cover, it has nothing. Um, and then when you open it up, it has a little background grid paper and then a little timetable vintage ephemera. And this is a little pocket with the real vintage ticket. And it's all sewed around. So that is the back. And this is the booklet again. And what I can do is I can put it in the book leg and then close it like this if you don't want it to be the cover you can find the back of the book leg and then close it like so so this is the little book leg here oh i really like it though okay i'm back so i grabbed a little i don't know what is it called it's a real vintage um ephemera it's heat still and it says airy colors like club not sure is it for a color 
comparison kind of tour i don't know i feel like i've seen this quite a lot in most of the vintage thermal kit but i never know what is this i never know what's this used for but i think i would um i think i will cut um like right here in the center and then and i'm gonna put it um, right here, I think. But I kind of don't want to cover this beautiful ladies. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I will do it. I think I will like put it right here, and then I can put, you know, a camera inside the pocket. I just want to make. I just want to make um, make it look like a pocket. Actually, it has a little little green. In the center, I can cut it along. I can cut it along the grid part, the grid line. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put it here, and then I'm just gonna glue the glue around it. And I do have a few window left, but I don't feel like to put any windows over here. I feel like it's too messy. It has too much thermal already. So yeah, I'm just gonna make another little pocket in the corner, which I think is very cute. Okay, so this is that. Um, so in this window, I can make some something. Um, I still want to tuck in a little um, beads and pieces because you know I like I like fabric. So I cannot say no to fabric. So I have some cheese cloth, some cheese cloth, and I'm gonna trim a little corner just a little pieces like you see in here and then I'm gonna loosen it make it look super old <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some glue directly on the cover directly on the cover <laughs> okay like this you can just put it whatever then put more in the corner if it's not enough and then I'm gonna trim a little bit of this beautiful beautiful vintage French um, ribbon and I will do the same thing, just glue it down. Make sure you glue the right side, of course. <laughs> I really need to open my new glue. But it still has some glue. I need to use them all. So by the way, this glue does smell. It smells... Um, I don't know what this that smell. It just smells like chemical. So if you are sensitive of that, um, maybe this glue is not for you. But otherwise, it's very sturdy. It's very useful. I really, really like it. Okay. Just to pull it on top like this. And then sponge again. Use the rest of the ink. You're gonna like slightly, slowly, lightly just um, ink a little bit more color like this on the cheesecloth. Just make it look, you know, older. And I do have a little, um, I don't know what's it called, it's another ribbon. So maybe I can put it here. No, it's kind of the color. No. Okay, so I decided this is it. So in this pocket, like I said, I can use the real um, twin ticket. Come on. Okay, so this little twin ticket, 
um, I'm gonna put it in the little pocket right here can I put it okay Whew, slightly it's very it's very tight <laughs> okay so this is a little project that I do okay Okay, let me focus. So this is a little pocket, a little train ticket in the corner. I have some cheesecloth and the vintage French ribbon, metallic ribbon. It's really, really lovely. And when you open it up, I also attached tons of different papers. You can journal in here, you can put pictures in here, you can use it as the little pieces. This one you can bring it with you when you need some paper ephemera you can basically tear it down there's a little booklet of that and at the back is a pocket I really really love this pattern it's a pocket and it's all sewed around and inside the pocket I'm gonna take it out so you can you know open it open this booklet like this it has a little um, half page pocket in here also around another vintage ticket you can pull it out another little booklet and then here on the left you have the timetable you have some ephemera you know, and stitching and this is another booklet so this is today's project <laughs> this is today's project i'm really really proud of it I really really love it I think I think I will do more projects like this I like to create little notebooks so this notebook will go with the Travelers Notebook custom orders um, for my client and I am just so thrilled about it I really really do okay, you can tuck it back in so it looks like this again oh I just like I'm just gonna put it out again I just like when it's open like so oh I love it look how adorable it is it's vintage it's functional and it's decorative oh I really really like it so yeah this is today's project I hope you enjoy this kind of video if you like it please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and tell me you like more videos like this I like to create a different project with you or and this is the first one and I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy this video. Anyway, I hope you have a good, good day, fantastic day. Um, enjoy the autumn, enjoy the weather and yeah, I will see you in my next video soon. Bye-bye.